What's up foodies? Thank you so much for all the love you guys gave me. I really, really, really appreciate that. I do want to apologize to you for not getting you any videos out for the last couple of, uh, couple of weeks. I'm so sorry about that. Now for today's recipe, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making some uh, honey sriracha chicken. So without wasting any more of your time, let's get to making the recipe for you. Alright guys, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and marinate our chicken. For marinating the chicken, very simple uh, marination. What we're going to do, just a little bit of salt. Now with salt, we're going to go ahead and use a little bit of black pepper. Now be careful with your black pepper. Sriracha sauce is spicy as it is. So you want to make sure you don't make it too spicy. A little bit of black pepper. With black pepper, what we're going to do is a little bit of lime. With lime, we're going to go ahead and add just a little bit of sriracha sauce. And we're going to add some honey with it. And once we add honey, all we're going to do is give it a good mix. And once we give it a good mix, we're going to let it sit for about 15 to 20 minutes. All right, guys. So once the chicken is marinated, the next step that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and use our chicken. In a pan, we're going to take a little bit of oil. We're going to put it on a medium heat once the oil is hot. Then we're going to go ahead and add our chicken to it. Once we add the chicken in there, all we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and cook the chicken until the chicken is cooked. Guys, so once your chicken is cooked, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add finely chopped garlic to it. Uh, once we add garlic, we're just going to go ahead and cook it very quick so the rawness of the garlic is gone. Guys, so once your garlic is cooked, what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and add just a little bit of uh, vinegar to it. Once we add vinegar to it... Chinese food is never complete without adding some soy sauce. So we're going to go ahead and add just a little bit of soy sauce to it. Now remember that we used a little bit of salt when we were uh, marinating the chicken. So you want to make sure that you don't add too much soy sauce or don't add too much salt. If you do like the taste of soy sauce, um, just because it's a little bit salty. Now with that, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add ample amount of honey. And with honey, we're going to go ahead and add a um, little bit of sriracha sauce. Uh, add the sriracha sauce to your liking, uh, to the sweetness that you like. So once the honey is added to it. Now I like spicy food as you know, so if there are two things I'm going to add. I'm going to add a little bit of crushed paper to it. And with the crushed paper, I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more sriracha sauce. And once we add that, we're going to let it cook for a minute and then we'll come back to it. Alright guys, so once your sauces are cooked a little bit, after that what we're going to do to thicken the gravy of the honey sriracha chicken, we're going to go ahead and add a little bit of cornstarch to it. So I'm adding about uh, 2 to 3 uh, tablespoons of, uh, of cornstarch. And once I add that, we're going to let the gravy thicken up a little bit and then we're going to be all set to go. Alright guys, so once your gravy thickens up a little bit, we're going to go ahead and lower the heat. And after lowering the heat, what we're going to do is we're just going to add a little bit of sesame seed. Now, uh, sesame seed is optional, uh, but I would definitely suggest you should add some. It does add a lot of flavor to it. So I'm going to add some and cook it a little bit. And then on top of that, I'm going to add, add some roasted sesame seed. I'm going to add some on top after, um, after the dish is all done too. Alright guys, so I cooked the sesame seed for about 30 seconds or so. Uh, now I'm going to go ahead and um, close my, uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn the gas off. And once the gas is turned off, we're just going to let this, uh, let this sit. You can serve it hot like this, add some onion chives and, uh, and some sesame seed to it. But this is it, pretty much your dish is done. Alright guys, so as you know, the food is ready. I'm not waiting on you. If you guys like the recipes that I make for you, Please go ahead and like, share, subscribe. I really appreciate your love and support. As you know, food is ready, not waiting on you. Thank you so much. Until next time, I'll see you soon.